Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do a little demo with the pearlescent cream sticks. I'm going to show you guys. Um, I've been finding all these new products and because of, you know, things being expensive, life being what it is lately, um, I'm trying to find us cheaper products, more bang for your buck as they call you, call it. Um, so I wanted to talk about a few things though, before I start, if you guys saw in my last video, I did the Crayola quick dry paint sticks. So what they are is they are paint sticks. Uh, and I'll link the video down below and at the end of this video, but a lot of you are asking if this is permanent and it is. So let me show you. I'm going to take a paintbrush. Oh my gosh. I just turned this off. Why is it back on? Wait one second, please. Let's turn this off. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, while I wait for that to come up, see nothing. It does not move. These are a permanent. So these are fantastic, uh, a fantastic product. Here they are again. Look, and dun, 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 dun. nothing, just a dirty brush. So, I mean, you can see all permanent. So these paint sticks are fantastic. Um, so they definitely are, let me just turn this off here. Is that better? I hope that's better. Who knows? Um, so they're definitely permanent. So I'm going to be using them in a mixed media um, project coming up. But, but let's talk about these. These are Crayola pearlescent cream sticks. And I'm going to take this off. These are available on Amazon as well. And make sure you subscribe and leave a comment because who knows maybe there's going to be a couple giveaways coming so i'm going to set that over there and it comes in this nice tin and it's sealed and we're going to open it some scissors always go away never towards your hands don't do as i do do as i say do as i say not as i do um but yeah so i wanted to do this here look at this look at this cool case right metal Okay, and so you take this off, and look what we got. Okay, so you can see you have all these great colors. Oh, this one's calling my name. Come on. Put this right here for now. Let's see how this baby works. So, you take this off. Oh my God, the RA today. And this is your tourney up and down. So you can, you know, make it go up as far as you want. Oh, my dog's going to go nuts if I can take, oh, oh, what is that, Bubba? What is that, Loof? Okay, so my dog's name's Luther, the puppy. I call him Lufa. It's, don't even ask. Okay, so let's see. These are cream sticks. Okay, and this is just your regular, what is this paper? It's art journal, but I use mixed media usually. Uh, I don't know what I did with the cover. Probably ripped the cover off, knowing me. Mm -hmm. I know, those are uh, oil pastels too. It's this. So whatever this is, I think it's just a mixed media, mixed media paper. It's all right. All right. So I'm going to do this. Let's see about it being water. Oh, okay. Look at that. These are, oh, so Awesome. Let me see how they dry. Lux colors that are blendable, dry, or wet. And these are going to be hard for you to see because... You trip it. Let's try and see. Hmm. 
well, pretty pigmented. They are on this paper. I mean, obviously they're cream, um, like uh, oil pastels, you know what I'm saying? But they're water soluble. So these are kind of like my um, portfolio oil pastels, except these are pearlescent. Do you know what I'm saying? So let me see. You know, you got to play with things here. Uh, smooth formula that's perfect for fine art or craft projects. Versatile art tools can be used dry or add a bit of water for blending. Works great for other effects like edging, large area, shading, and water color effects. All illustrated artwork shows what you can do with the signature pearlescent. I mean, this is beautiful, what, what they show on here. So I have to push the boundaries and see what else they do. So let's pick do this color, which looks like a purple. Come on. Do me, do me, do me. All right. So they don't, this is violet. I'm going to pull these on. These lids stay on. Okay. So what I'm going to do, let's see how they stamp. So I'm going to, I mean, let's look at that. I'm going to hold that up so you can see, but I'm just scribbling it on here. Okay. Let's see if you can see. It's hard to see. There you go. You can kind of see the shimmer. Let's see what it does without water. All right gonna be hard for you to see the shimmer but so that works on stamps and all which is good to know because I love the layering oh yeah if it's wet look at that so then I can layer oh god yes now the only thing about these are they're not going to be permanent if you can wet them so if you're doing a mixed media project or art journal or a TC card or something to that effect, these are gonna be great to use as a layer further up. And like I said, I'm gonna do a whole uh, canvas with everything that I'm showing you here. Um, but yeah, you can see these are really great. Okay, so let's say, like I'm gonna go over my, my little alien man, right? I have this, I'm gonna lay it on here. Pretend like this is my stamp. Now, obviously you use, I'll see if I can find me a stamp. And you see how we're layering over it? So then you kind of see the alien, you see that. So this is really awesome. And I mean, you can go as thick or as thin as you want. It has a great color. I'm gonna real quick um, go to the next page behind here and let's swatch them all just so we can see what they're like. These are definitely a win. I can never have too much. Um, I'm sorry. It's hard for me with my hands to get these out at the moment. So I have to do a little flick. Flick of the wrist. Okay. So let's do. So I'm assuming this would be considered the red. I mean, it looks pink to me. It's called red, <laughs> but I guess because it's metallic, it's different. So let's do, oh yeah, that's red. Red. And you can see when you lay it down, it stays unless you add water. So that is good. Do you know what I mean? So if I'm working, you know, and I want to do on top or anything of something, I can get that look. So let's red. Let's see blendable here. Yeah. Oh, they're blendable. Orange. Mm. Awesome. Oh, Alexa, she's like, girl, it's awesome. Listen to her. <laughs> Alexa's going off. She's going to start playing the dog music I had playing before. That's a whole other video. All right. Red, orange, yellow. Oh, wow. 
Really nice. Now I'm laying these down and then we're going to add some water to see the blendability. And you can see, let's see if you could see better if I do this. Like lift it up, you know, because with the shine and the light, yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah. Yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. We saw the green. Right? Is that green? This is emerald. Excuse me. These are gorgeous. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can see the shine. Look at that. How gorgeous that is. Look at that. See them? Oh, gosh. And I'm just going to do a little smush to spread it. Green, blue. And they give you black and white. Come on now. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to tell you. This is called Blue Bolt. These are going to be gorgeous on clay as well. And on uh, like textured, you know, paste or embossed, like something to that effect. Oh, they are gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, so we did the blue. We did the red. We did the yellow. We did the green. Okay. These are what's left. Let's do a light blue. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Did I already do this color? Is this blue bolt? Is this blue bolt? Nope, that's violet. I already did it though. And that's all right. It looks kind of like this one, doesn't it? But it's not. It's different. This is violet. I don't know. And did I do this one too? This is sky blue. Girl, she's a little, meds are kicking in. This is magenta. Oh, look at that color. These are a win too. I'm so freaking excited. This is white. So it's like a silver which I don't know how well you'll be able to see. Ooh, I want to put like, oh my God, look at this. And then you put it, oh my gosh, okay. Layering, yes please, and this is black. Okay, so before I blend, let me see, you can see them there, look at that. And that's where I kind of blend it over so they can go over each other, which we're gonna play with in a minute, but look at that. That is awesome. Okay, so that's those. Now, this is black. So I'm gonna go in with my finger or blending, you know, if you have a blending tool, I'm just gonna blend a little bit because I know, oh, look at that. Because I wanna get different colors. That's something that I like to try as well because I like bang for my buck. I like a twofer, as I like to call them. So, you know, when I get this, well, what two colors mixed together make a color? Um, now, if I do a little bit, let's do a little bit of, and these are dry. Like, those are dry. Look, nothing's coming up. What? Oh, my God. I'm loving these, loving these, loving these. Let's do a little bit of this color, which is Blue Bolt. I hope I pushed record because <laughs> that's the kind of day it is. All right, a little bit of blue bulk, but I want a little black because I want it to be a little darker. So I'm covering it, obviously. But then I'm gonna take a little bit of water and let's see. Okay, so it gave me like a navy blue. You see that? I don't know, you might have to wait till it dries. Okay, scrubbing the, the thing a little bit too much. Okay, so I have that. So then, wonder if we do some black and white. And if I mix them with my finger for a minute, 
and you don't get nothing I mean it's crazy but I add a little bit of water if I can get a gray Okay, I'm going to dry these real quick, and then I got one more thing I want to do. Well, two more things I want to do. Loving this, because that we got a nice sky gray, like a dark blue, I guess. And then we got this really got good gray. Oh, Calvin Night. Look at that. Okay, so they're mixable. Now, the other thing I want to do is, which this isn't necessarily... These are just things I like to test for reasons. All right, so this is a gorgeous color. Orange circuit. Can you see how it's... I'm not going to blend it. What I'm going to do... Or no, maybe I'll blend this one. A little bit. Can you see that? Can you see that shine? Yeah, right there. Gorgeous. Now, I'm going to go over it with black. Okay. And the kid in me comes out, right? And then I'm going to take the back of a paintbrush or whatever. I don't have my sticks right here right now. Yep, it works. You see that? Look at that. Okay. So that is awesome. Now I'm going to take my brush. I don't want too much water though. Too much water I find is not doing good, but these colors are awesome. I'm going to take this through just water. See how that All right, it lifts it still. Look at that. So now I just made a pattern. If I'm going to do an ATC card and I want to do a background, you know, you could play with the water and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't come up. The only thing I'm going to say is don't use a rough brush because that brush is like a cheap rough brush. I use it for like if I want to use gesso and, and uh, you know, texture kind of thing. I'm going to blend these, pull it down a little bit. Oh, that's great. Well, these are fantastic. And as you can see, I'm going in with just a little bit of water and it's blending. It's blending really good. Look at that. Let's see if I can get a, Maybe I'll do like a yellow and blue and show you. Let's do a little yellow. I mean, this yellow is bright and gorge. And then we'll do a little blue like this. And I'm not going to overlap them when I'm putting them down. That's just a little tip because you want them to blend, but I don't want them to muddy, I guess. So that little bit in the middle gives you the... yellow over here and I'm spreading it out a little bit and then let's get yep it's a mix and then the green okay do you see that you can see that kind of but what we can do is I have a non-stick mat I'm gonna do like this like this and this is the last thing I promise I will not keep you any longer I'm going in with the light and I'm gonna move it to the dark move it around sucking up in my brush and as you can see plus I had a dirty brush but look we got a nice so you can mix it on your non-stick or a piece of wax paper or what have you 
and then you can get different colors. So that is fantastic. That is what I love. That is what I love. So moving on from that, again, we got what we can use as a stamp. We have all the colors. We can use it with our permanent paints if we want. You can, I mean, come on, look at that, right? And then you can go in with your water around it if you want to maybe make, you know, if you want to make um, it look less, I like hard lines, but some people don't, but you can see I'm taking off some of that black. So then the orange comes through. Do you see what I'm saying? So you can layer it. So this, these are wonderful. They're called pearlescent cream sticks. They are from Crayola. Nobody sent these to me. My uh, own money. So I don't need to hear about that. I'm just showing you guys inexpensive products to use. Again, I'm going to post down below. And at the end of this video, these links come up. It'll be the video with the uh, paint sticks, which are my favorites. And I'm just going to say, keep around. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave comments. And keep your eyes out because, I don't know, you might be seeing a giveaway coming up soon. And uh, so you guys can try these as well, or one of you can. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll do more than one video. I mean, more than one giveaway. Again, and it comes in this fantastic case and when you see you can see look at that oh these are wonderful i'm in love with these and you're going to be seeing you can't see nothing on there now you'll be seeing these be used again as well as the paints and who knows maybe i'll have something else coming up i don't know but as always please be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting I love you guys so very much, and I hope you're enjoying these, uh, you know, products that I'm showing you, less expensive, how they work, um, and of course, I'll be honest with you if I don't dig them. So far, I'm happy. I love the layering. I love, love, love the paint sticks. I'd love to know what you guys think of these down below, and I hope you guys are staying safe, and please wear your masks. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. I gotta use my mouse over here. Bye-bye.